They are batteries. Batteries convert chemical energy to electricity directly. We are all used to these fancy dry cells, but in the old days, and still nowadays in your car, there are acid batteries. If I have here a beaker with acid, for which most commonly is used sulfuric acid, and I put here in a zinc wire and here in a copper wire, then this is a battery. I believe this side of the battery is positive and this is negative. Now, we have them here. We have this sulfuric acid and we have zinc and we have copper. But if we use only one cell, then I won't be able to light a small light bulb. Just like with your flashlights that you have at home, you sometimes have to put in several cells in series to get a higher voltage so that you can power a small light bulb. The light bulb that we have here is only a few watts. It's almost nothing. And I will still try to get it lit, which is not so easy, because this battery has a self-destruct in it. The moment that I put this zinc in there, I get very violent chemical reactions. The fumes are awful. You may actually smell that in the first row. It's very awful. And the battery works only maybe for a few minutes. So I have to do this very fast, since it has a self-destruct built in. And when I do it, I will make it at the very last minute, I will make it completely dark. So the way I will do that is why don't we turn everything off. And now I leave a few things on first. I can put the copper in. The copper is not the worst. Let me first put the copper in. That's pretty innocent. So I'm going to build four cells and put them in series. And I have the copper now in place. So that's not the worst. The moment I put the zinc in, then things begin to be very unpleasant. But when I make it very dark, I close the circuit and I hope you will be able to see the light. No pun implied. So let's leave something on and turn all the rest off. I'm going to make it very dark, very shortly. First, you still have dim light. Uh, one thing goes in. Uh, I already smell it. Two things goes in. And the third goes in. And now I'm going to make it completely dark. And now I have to close the loop with the last piece of zinc. Look at that little light bulb that is right there. There it goes. Man, I see the light. Did you see it? It doesn't last very long, but it's there. Boy, it was very bright, wasn't it? You saw it, right? Unmistakable. I have to get this out because otherwise we will all be dead by the end of the lecture. <laughs> okay. And let's cover this also up because this sulfuric acid. Ugh. So you led the battery in your car works with the same idea, except this is lead oxides and this is lead. So it works with lead oxides and lead and it's a very, very powerful uh, battery. There are batteries which are very fancy, which can be charged. Nickel cadmium is a battery that can be charged. My electric shaver works on these batteries. Wonderful. If I forget to shave in the morning, I can still do it before you come in here. That's the great thing about batteries. Uh, this is probably, this probably consumes 30 watts, 30 joules per second is my rough guess, and I can probably get one hour of shaving out of that. Probably shave six, seven times. So that's a total of 100,000 joules. It's not bad out of the battery, and you can even recharge it. 